What's up guys, long day on the ice. Um, I'm glad I caught a bunch of fish. I'm glad I got to share this bite with you guys. Um, didn't really shoot an intro, so not really sure what we're gonna do there. Let's just roll it. on feels like a good one flip this out we are doing something a little bit different today we are chasing something that does not get a whole lot of pressure here in northern wisconsin besides lake superior and yes we are in very deep water nice one there oh yeah we are chasing whitefish today. That's a beauty right there. He's about a 19 incher. There's not a whole lot of lakes that actually have these in them. But the ones that do, we can get him unhooked there. <laughs> the ones that do, they are absolute blast to catch. We're gonna let him go. Come on, buddy. Oh, now he's coming up. Here he comes. Oh, we missed him. I don't know if that was a little guy. He's still on screen. He's coming back right away. Got him. <laughs> Fish on. Doesn't feel super big. They are down there now. I got two or three more on screen, actually. Come on, buddy. I don't think he's quite as big as the first one. Not a bad one there. You get a lot of them about that size. 12, 13 inches. Still got the waxy. We're going to let him go. Get right back down there because they are certainly a school down there. Well, okay, guys, basically all I'm fishing here is a hard to soft bottom transition. And what that is, it's a spot where the brake line kind of comes down, that harder brake line comes down and it meets the soft basin of the lake. When I say harder bottom, I'm probably talking sand in a lake like this, and the soft bottom is going to be more mud or silt. And these bugs will actually hatch in the winter, which is what whitefish feed on. A lot of bugs, um, these bugs come out of the mud. And although you do have a big giant basin out here, you can imagine just that wall of bugs where it goes from soft to hard. And that's where those bugs kind of hatch. And a lot of these fish will just kind of run these soft to hard bottom transitions, which is kind of like the wall of where the bugs hatch. So although it's not a big difference, it makes all the difference in the world. You can get out farther into the basin and it's just gonna be a vast array of bugs. It's almost gonna be like too much of a good thing. So what you kind of target is like these these walls right on the side of it. If you get a little bit of a flat, that's good. Kind of like a shelf before it dumps into some super deep water, that's good. You know, I've caught these fish anywhere from 20 feet to like 90 feet. Um, but it seems like kind of the sweet spots like that 50, 60 feet where you have those kind of slow tapering breaks where it meets those uh, that hard to soft bottom line. Those fish just kind of run those edges and that's all they're targeting. On. This is getting fun now. This feels like another good one. Reducer out here. Fishing in about 55 feet of water now. And they are all schooled up. I'll sit here for about five minutes, won't mark anything. And then I'll have three or four of them come through all at the same time. I should probably be fishing two rods just so I can possibly double up. Oh yeah, another nice one. <laughs> Beauty. They're all getting hooked exactly the same. Right in the lip with that uh, little clam egg imitation jig. I don't think it really matters too much. Just as long as you're tipping it with some kind of waxy or real fishy looking plastic. 
that's another good one right there. Beauty. They are absolutely a blast on this crappie tackle. Well, bite kind of slowed up. It's middle of the day now. We're gonna make a move to another spot. I've hit two spots today. And we're gonna hopefully catch a couple there and wrap the day out. I'm actually gonna switch it up a little here just for having so many short bites I keep ripping my wackies off and it's so far down that I hate reeling up and switching all the time so I'm gonna go to a little bit of this beaver tail. I've used it a bunch for walleyes and perch and crappies but I've never used it for whitefish. Stuff stays on a hook extremely well. It has that same dancing profile a lot like a waxy would. We'll see if that grabs one. Here's one coming up. Keep him moving, keep him moving. Oh, he did back down. Now he's coming up. Oh. <laughs> Got him. That did not take long once I put that little beer tail on. There's a school waiting for me down there. Doesn't feel too bad, not like a super big one. It is chilly out today. I definitely should have brought the pop up, but we'll be fine out here. Oh, there he is. There you go. Oh, big arc. On. <laughs> that one shot, it was actually two fish that shot up at the same time. There's another nice one. These things are just so much fun to jig. You can see how we slurped that little beaver tail there. Switched it up to that just because I was getting so many hits and uh, they were stripping the waxies off actually when I was setting the hook. On, get that clam, that little tungsten jig. Beautiful fish there. Fish. <laughs> I thought we were just about running out of time to film one more and this might not be a white fish. I am not sure what this is. As the sun's going down, this is not fighting like the other ones. We will see. Either way, it has been a great day of chasing these guys. I've had an absolute blast. It's something I don't get to do all that much. Oh, this is not a white fish. <laughs> there we go. Nice walleye to close out the day. Right in the white fish spot. Hook just fell out. Well guys, it's been a great day of chasing white fish out here. Nice little bonus walleye at the end. We will take it, we're gonna slide him back because it's getting cold. There he goes. Make sure to get out and try some of this stuff, guys. There's still untapped fishing opportunities here in the Hayward area. Um, I don't see a lot of guys out doing this white fish stuff. Make sure you release them because I'm not really sure how many they are and I'd hate to see it go bad. So they're great fun fish to catch. Like I said, it's kind of like crappie fishing just on steroids. You get a big heavy tungsten jig, drop it down there with some waxies on it work those fish off bottom right on those uh, hard to soft bottom lines and you guys are gonna have a blast as always guys stay tuned for more in the near future I've kind of been a little bit lazy not really lazy because I have not been lazy at all but uh, just been too busy to film a lot more of these ice fishing YouTube segments but there is more on the way very soon